What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we have another episode of uh, well in the 100 run series but in the 100 run series I also do 10 hours of open world farm. So it's either 10 hours of uh, an open world farm or 100 runs of uh, any dungeon right? In today's video, I've been doing 10 hours of BFA mounts just to see how many mounts I will get in 10 hours. And yes, I am fully aware that you can go 10 hours without getting a single mount. And you can also go 10 hours and you can get 5 mounts. Like, it, RNG is insane on this, uh, so, which I'm going to get back into in the video with some examples uh, of how that plays out. Uh, but before we dive into the specifics... I do want to mention that you guys can still get this zero to 10 million gold guide. And if you use code Shadowlands, you will get it for 50% off. And this is a, a book that is under constant work. So whenever a new expansion comes around, I'm going to update the book for that expansion. And everyone who has already bought the book will receive any future updates for free. So make sure to check it out with the link down below in the description, but also at the pinned comments. And the farm that I started out with, like, there's a couple of mounts in BFA, and I want to do all of them. I wanted to get all of them in 10 hours, but that's not super realistic. Uh, but I first started out in, um, in Stormsong Valley, where you can farm the golden main mount. So we used the, the spot that the mariners strand to farm it, and the golden main is usually the most expensive mount, and after four hours, on hour number four, I finally managed to get the golden main, which is fairly decent because the golden main is four to five hundred thousand gold. So I made like uh, over a hundred thousand gold an hour just farming for the golden main. And uh, I've sold them for 400k plus many times in the past. Last time I. Uh, I did a mount challenge on my channel. I think I sold two golden uh, mains for like 360,000 gold each or something like that. And after the four hours of farming this one, I didn't go for the second highest uh, valued mount which on my realm, which is the pack mule that you can farm in, uh, in Drustvar. Instead, I just I felt like going for uh, the Voldun mount, the Dune Scavenger. So there's the Dune Scavenger, and then there's also the Blood Feaster in the Nasmir, right? That's the mounts that you can farm in BFA. Mine's the fishing mount. Uh, but I decided to go for the Dune Scavenger, and the reasoning behind that is because you kill way more mobs that can actually drop the mounts on this location uh, compared to the Golden Main. So it's a relatively easy mount to get compared to the Golden Main. So I just wanted to grab it fast and then move on to the next mount. However, didn't go as planned. It worked last time. I believe I got it the first or the second hour. This time around, I did it for six hours, like the last six hours of my 10 hour session. And I didn't get shit, didn't get any mounts. So I ended the 10 hours with one golden main mount, as you can see right here. Yeah, one sold for 256 and then one 380. So the average price is like 320 last time I sold it. But that's a while ago, like 120 days ago. Uh, but I did get this one mount, currently 450,000 gold in my realm, like 500k market value. And then I got one epic in six hours. One! And that was this shield going for like uh, 100k. I got this dagger right here. Relatively cool, currently selling for 67k on my realm. And then I got these boots right here with the spikes on them for almost 100k. And I only got three abyssal fragments, and that is because of the tactic that we use when we farm it. So you guys can see I don't have a lot of cloth if you think about the fact that I did this for 10 hours and I don't have any greens to keep, and I have very few abyssal fragments they get for golden main farm. And that's because we only did like a constant kill and loot uh, type of farm for the first hour of Golden Maid. The remaining nine hours, we killed mobs for 20 minutes without touching the loot. And then we looted. And then we killed for another 20 minutes. And then we looted. And then we killed for another 20 minutes. And then we looted. Right? The reasoning behind that is because the green items aren't really worth that much gold. The cloth is kind of meh. So uh, we wanted to optimize the, the time that we spent killing the mobs. Because if you weren't aware of it, green items and gray items will disappear from the body of the mobs that you kill in like roughly three minutes, depends on the mob. 
but if the mob drops a blue item or an epic item, the mob is not going to despawn for half an hour. So when you're doing farms like this where you're only interested in the epic items, there's no point in constantly looting unless you care about the cloth and the raw gold. Uh, we only care about the mounts and the epics. So uh, there's no point in looting constantly uh, getting lesser, like less amount of kill per hour. So that's why I don't have that much cloth and only three abyssal fragments right now. But like all in all, we're looking at 700,000 gold-ish from the 10 hours. So that's still 70,000 gold an hour. I think that BFA mounts in general is way better than most people think. Most people are like, yeah, but it never drops, man. It, it kind of sucks. I don't want to do it. But even if you spend 10 hours averaging a gold main every 10 hour, that's still on the mount alone. It's 45 to 50,000 gold an hour. And obviously, if you go for something like the Dune Scavenger, which is only 200, 250,000 gold, it's going to be less, but it's also, uh, you should be able to get more than one in 10 hours. Like, I had people with me who got double Dune Scavenger in the same time where I got none. So, uh, RNG at its best. Uh, but now I kind of want to finish. Like, uh, I wanted to hear it with you guys if that's interesting, if I should keep on trying to get the Dune Scavenger. And then once I have that one, go and do Pack Mule. And then go and do uh, the last one, the Blood Feaster, and see how many hours it takes me to get one of each BFA mount. And then look at the gold per hour once I'm done with them. So if that is of interest, then simply just like the video. It gives me a good indication that you guys would be interested in that. Or you could just leave a comment down below of uh, what your thoughts are on that. But that's also it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check out my 0 to 10 million gold guide. And uh, I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.